Yeah, so the night before the England game, I um, spent most of my time at the hotel. So, um, you know, we'll have our pre match meal, the traditional um, bolognese. Um, then I'll just go back to my room most of the time and, you know, I'll get up some salt bath in just to, just to relax and then watch a movie before bed. And normally I'm pretty chilled out, to be honest with you. I um, sleep pretty easy the night before the game and then, yeah, just wake up and on game day, um, you know, obviously wake up and, you know, you've got that excitement ready to go. Yeah, so we step off the bus and, you know, obviously the headphones, headphones are off at that point. You know, we, 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 we've got to take in the environment and, you know, that, that walk into Twickenham was always special. Um, you know, during the Six Nations, it was, it was an unbelievable experience every time I did it. So, um, you know, that walk in is always special, having all those people, people rooting for you, um, cheering you on. And then, you know, as soon as you step into the change room, um, you know, head, head straight on, focused on the game again. <laughs> So obviously we eat our breakfast in the morning. Um, you know, I, I just eat whatever's there. Really, to be honest, I'm not too too fussy um, in terms of that. I won't I won't massively load up on the breakfast. But the pre-match meal, I, I'd like to get quite a bit of spaghetti on board. Um, you know, the bolognese is obviously, as I said, the traditional one that, that most people go for, and, and I've stuck with that ever since you know, I started playing. Really. <laughs> The post-match functions, uh, which are always entertaining, you know, just to sit with sit with all the lads, the wives and girlfriends, and, and you know, you can almost get away from it for sort of five, ten minutes, and then um, and then on the bus back to Penny Hill, and you know, that's it really, you know, go back to, to your room or you can go spend some time with the lads. Um, it's up to you really, but you know, I tend to tend to stick with the lads after the game and, and just try and enjoy enjoy the moment. <laughs> <laughs>